Welcome everybody, Farm Sim Snowy here. In this video we're going to look at a new mod map release for Farming Simulator 19. This is Griffin Indiana 19 by AJ Farmer and the description on the mod hub says you're now the proud owner of a small farm located around Griffin, Indiana, USA. The equipment is old and in need of repair. Luckily there is a workshop in the shed to make the repairs. With hard work and a little luck you will be able to expand the farm as there are 62 farmlands and 36 fields with 212 hectares available on this highly detailed map. When not farming, you can try your hand at forestry or ride your horse or ATV on one of the many trails in the area. If you get lost, just follow trailhead signs. Be careful not to wander too deep in the forest at night as there have been rumours of Bigfoot activity. How cool would that be if there is actually a Bigfoot in the forest? I hope they've added something in like that. Um, map features. Precision farming ready. Seasons ready. Real soil data. Real terrain data. Custom sounds. Riding trails. Forest area. BGA. Field contracts. Transport contracts. Vehicle traffic. Pedestrian traffic. Train. Lime and fuel station. Standard crops. All standard sale locations. 62 farmlands, 36 fields, small, medium, large fields, helper friendly, combinable fields, real picture PDA, real picture borders and high FPS. It is also 194.41 megabytes to download. So I am on new farmer mode and we start off up here this is the map sorry I'll zoom out as you can see it's a real um, image from Google Earth so if we quickly come down and just turn off some of these crops you can see this area here is obviously a real field and I'm guessing that's what they mean by you could combine these four fields into one big field and I think there's a few um, like that dotted around the map like this area here etc so we start off up here on new farmer mode and we own field one um, this area here which um, sort of is a mixture of grass and um, there's a few trees about and then the area where our farm is. So if you're on the other two modes, to buy that area where the farm is is 401,000. And we also own, right down in the bottom right hand corner of the map, field 21. Neither of them have got any crops in, but they've been cultivated, but I think they need plowing and lime. The field prices vary quite a bit. So you've got field seven there, it's only 231,000. And then these are separate, 400, 391. Field nine's a whopping 1.7 million, 18,902. Field 29, 801. And you've got forestry areas split up into little chunks, like so. And field 36, only 130,000. So it's all sort of kind of split up. You can't um, buy any of this town area. This is the main town, which we'll come across in a minute. There is a BGA, which is here, right next to a cell point. It doesn't come up on the map saying BGA, but um, if you do buy it, so that plot there is 798,000 quite expensive but when you do buy it it does appear in your sale point um, 
menu there it will appear and it just takes your standard normal um, things for the BGA silage manure slurry etc all that lot <clears throat> so on our farm we've obviously got a farmhouse we've got a chicken coop which is the only animals on the um, map at the minute and we've got a farm silo and then obviously all of our equipment you got a cracking view we start off here in our rear porch of our farmhouse you can activate the sleep trigger there at the back door so yeah that view is very nice indeed if we run around the back or the front should I say because I think this is actually the front I think it's the same house from Ravenport you can come inside and then you got the sheep, uh, sheep sleep trigger inside like so what we'll do quickly is we'll um, run through our equipment so that I can show you so like I said I'm on new farmer mode um, the slot count is at 835 slots out of 1299 if you sell all this equipment you can get that down to 451 slots if you come on to this in the other two modes farm manager and start from scratch you literally start with nothing you don't have any equipment no fields land nothing and it will be 451 slots so you've got a pretty blank canvas if you come on to this in those two modes so our equipment we start off with a Fiat 1300 DT the new Holland TX32 harvester lizard pickup uh, trailer HW80 trailer the header for your harvester got a small cultivator small cedar um, your chicken coop which says mod there but I'll we'll look at that in a second um, and your large grain silo which again says mod but it's basically the in-game one so it just takes your standard crops and it's 200,000 litres capacity you've got an easy shed one which is modded in which I will show you why that's modded in well why I think it's modded in um, your vehicle workshop again all these are mods and then you've got these buildings and this is where it gets a bit interesting because all these built buildings are just the basic in-game decoration ones so you can't go in them you can't use them they're pretty uh, useless to put it bluntly a bit harsh probably saying that but look at the slot count down there on that if we sell that farm shed there for 10,000 that's going to give us back 68 slots so it, it gets a bit odd here this building here farm garage 70 slots and they just they're sat there doing nothing basically and I'm not sure why they say mod because um, there's nothing special about them they're just you know they're not built into the terrain it, it's just a standard bog um, decoration ones again farm shack 68 uh, slots the farmhouse 93 slots and that's just your normal in-game farmhouse so if we come out of there like i say there's no other modded in stuff apart from in animal pens we've got our chicken coop which holds a hundred chickens by the way but there's no difference at all about it that I can see than the standard in-game one so I don't know why it says mod there's nothing in silos nothing in miscellaneous and in decoration see you've got all these buildings that um, are on here but they're only saying one slot obviously not all of these in are in there but some of them are um, you got your standard in-game farmhouse which is what we've got again that only says one slot and then your easy shed one which says mod 
But if I quickly show you that easy shed, I'm guessing it's modded because you've got your workshop um, built into it on this side, which is quite cool. So if we come in there and go up to there, we've got our trigger. But if you select the um, modded in easy shed, which I tested earlier, it doesn't come up with the workshop in it. It's just a standard easy shed one that you put down so i'm not sure what that's about either but and also if you sell this off if you sell everything this workshop area it does it disappears but this like wooden fence rail stays the barrels and all the racking stays there and then round the back all this junk and that container is still there you can't get rid of that But if you do sell everything off, it's quite a big open space, so you could um, basically restart again, put everything back probably, and keep your slot count down. But anyway, here's your chicken pen. Again, it's just a standard in-game one, so you've got your dialogue box there. Your eggs are going to spawn there, as we know, and your feed trigger there. And then you've got your silo there where you'd collect out of there and tip into round here um what it says on the mod hub about the trailhead signs follow your way throughout the sort of forest areas you've got some of these that you can um use to follow like it says if you get lost so let's grab the pickup. I think I've covered everything there, have I? There's no custom crops. I don't know if I've said that or or required mods. There is contracts available on the on the map, as you can see from there, like so. There's quite a few sale points, but we'll cover them. Um, all of those in a second oh yeah that's one thing i wanted to say actually like it says in the mod hub all your equipment is in drastic need of repairs and it's got a lot of hours on it so look everything's at naught percent and not really worth a lot of money so just bear that in mind so if we swing out of here but it's a, it's a nice looking map I do like the look of it I like the feel of it I did um, Richport yesterday another American map um, and I have to say I kind of feel this one's a little bit better in my personal opinion so this is um, one of the fields you start off with field one nice big size and then we, we own all this area here with the grass so you could probably um, plow all that up again and regrass that to get your yield up I love the um, white fences though it gives it that sort of american feel and when we get down to the town i've never been to america myself but when i think of like the sort of rural areas of america i just picture what this town looks like i've just got that sort of image in my head and it it's um it doesn't disappoint so like i say we own this area as well we've got a little bit of storage here you can't sell off this um, barn here, but there's plenty of places to store equipment or bales or anything like that you wanted to do. So, I need to get my bearings again. You got a little sort of stream ditch just there, which is quite cool. 
the fields are all pretty good sizes even the sort of smaller ones are and you've got all the little sort of places like this on our right you've got an easy shed there and a little house so you know you could um let's just have a look you could buy that and it comes with field 32 for 166,000 you could have that as your farmhouse there's plenty of places like that around the map where you can start off somewhere else if you don't want to start up at your main farm and like I said this coming into this area now it just I don't know it's just it's just how I picture sort of some rural areas of America so there's your first sale point I think that's um, silage sale point so we're at O'Connor farm so we came out of our farm we checked out our field come down had a look at this building here and I do love look where it's obviously a Google Earth image they've tried to sort of um, put things in the right places to correspond with it it's quite cool we came down here we turned left and then we're down at O'Connor farm which is just there and I think that just takes silage yeah you've only got two sort of main sale points and the rest are all quite um, specific to things so we'll whiz out of here and there's another sale point just where is it just here I think this is farmer's market yeah farmer's market and if I remember rightly I think that does eggs where are we up there yeah it just does eggs nothing else so that's quite cool you got people walking around the town areas which is good as well brings the map to life just there's some really nice little features on it I love it very well thought out bit of construction work going on there now we've got a train track there and I believe it just runs across the middle of the map you can jump on it but then it goes off the map and you're just sort of traveling through nowhere there's no um railroad silos or sail points that you can use i think it's just for um sort of decoration i suppose bring the map to life i think if we go right is it right here actually we'll go down to the far end first I'm just trying to get my bearings I do apologize there we go right we'll go to the very last one and come back this way so just there on the right there in front of the red barn it's got another sale point which is a Buckley farm and that is going to do I think all your sort of bales or your loose yeah grass hay straw no silage though and then just behind us which we'll go to we've got the sawmill which is just um, gonna be for your timber for your lumber because there's a separate wood chip sale point so just there on the left you've got your lumber sail point with your trigger and then no that's part of the sawmill still ah just there just there on the left you've got your animal dealer like so I've only got chicken coop on the farm though so far 
And then from there, we have got two more together. You've got one there, and you've got um, Ledley Supermarket. So we did these ones, came back on ourselves. That's Prairie Farms Dairy, and then just right next to it, we've got Ledley Supermarket. So Ledley Supermarket is going to take just eggs, I believe, yeah, and Prairie Farms Dairy, I think, was milk. Yeah, just milk. So you got milk and eggs um, right on top of each other there. Which is quite handy. Now, where do I need to go now? What we'll do is come down, I think. We'll check out the spinnery and down this section and we'll come back up this way. So if we swing a right here. I just think it looks cool with all the little houses and the metal fences. And brilliant. So you've got your spinnery there, which is obviously just going to do your cotton and wool. Uh, where are we? Cozy wool spinnery. Yeah, wool and cotton. Go right down the bottom here. And then just here we've got Uncle Pete's diner oh yeah it's just round the back there could be a little bit tight getting into there because the triggers just over there so you've got Uncle Pete's diner which is down the bottom that's just gonna be eggs again I think so you've got a couple of options with eggs yeah so that's just eggs we've got a gas station just over there which you can see just the green one there with the red car parked outside if we come up this way to the shop area nice swim all there So we jump out. You can't open um, any of these doors. You've got your shop menu there. Like so. And then your workshop trigger. You've got one down here as well. Just inside. Your reset points just... I think it was just about here. So if you buy anything or reset or lease anything, it's there. And then we've got that's a lime station so you can buy your lime from there we've got another sale point up in here so we did all this up here we come down this strip done the spinnery across uncle pete's diner we're at the shop there's the lime point and this one is posey county co-op which i think is one of your main sale points yeah and that will also do potatoes and sugar beet. I don't think it does anything else. Nope. And then we will come out and up. We'll go straight across here and check out this sale point, which is just for your um, wood chips and the BGA. And do this little section here. So where's my pickup gone? We'll go out, go out the proper way because there's a um, train track there. It's quite noisy in there that bit, that cell point. So, did I want to turn left there? I can't. Yeah, it is.
right we'll go straight down into the um, BGA so you, there we go EG miles heat and energy you've got a little way station there that you can go on to there's another easy shed there you've got your bunker silos there as your wood chip sale point EG miles and then just round here we've got your digester and then your digestate will come out of this pipe here so somewhere in here there you go you see the manure pit there this is the garden center and that's just going to take um, manure hence the manure pit as you can see and then there's uh, just the other side of the fence there's a water station there so you can get your water from so we'll work our way back up here we'll go to elder farm and check out that sale point so yeah there's your water station there big green one there's just some nice buildings on there sort of looks like a town town hall in the background there's a church and then just round here is a nice little feature forgive me for not stopping but so look we run into here we've got the little dugout for the players and managers we've got a little baseball um, whatever it's called diamond I think isn't it so he's line up here. Yeah, go for it. Come on. We're going to home run. Yeah. Quick, 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 quick. Whew, safe. Oh, that's enough of that silliness. Just over the other side of the road. Quickly is another sort of area with a big easy shed and again you could probably in another shed there I'm not sure what that is actually what is that it's on the map isn't it oh this is Elder Farm we're here already <laughs> I didn't think we got there that quick that's me just messing around so Elder Farm another sale point I'm guessing that's going to be slurry yes it is so your slurry goes in there right back to the proper map tour instead of me being an idiot so from elder farm um yeah we can we can come along and cut all the way up here and we'll finish off at none better milling you got a really nice open sort of road now which is quite cool the big fields on down this sort of side of the map as well there's just little features like that you've got um, like an oil pump out in the middle of that field so if you bought that you're gonna have to seed and harvest and work around that I just think that's quite cool there you go and I love all the, the way all the terrain's different. The road's slightly raised up compared to the fields. And you've got all these different sort of trails leading off into the forest. So you can go exploring, trying to find the Bigfoot. When you're taking a break from farming. So this is your last sale point, just here, and that is obviously none better milling, and that is going to do, I think it's 
Yeah, it's another main sale point, yeah. That, but that just takes your standard crops. So there you go. What I might do, I don't do it very often, I've done it before, is go into landscaping mode and just have a little scout across the um, forest areas. Because there's not really any forestry down here. So, if we come up and out, probably not going to see a lot because I can't get high enough. Unlike the PC boys. But you can see the trails that are going all through the woods. On the hunt for Bigfoot. This is a big old um, meadow or grass area. Again, nice trail all through. Oh look, there's a little log cabin with a fire outside and everything. How cool is that? See, there's going to be all little gems like that, I reckon, hidden in this map. And if we whiz right down to the far end, right, what I like as well, that like I spotted earlier, is on the actual map, you can just see in the corner, you can see the um, freeway or the interstate, I think the Americans call it, which is there. And you can actually see traffic coming along it, look, there's a car going there. So it doesn't sort of just end, it's, although this road doesn't quite match up, but, oh, it's not bad actually, is it? Yeah, quite cool, nice little touches. So, let's get away from this noisy thing. That is Griffin, Indiana, 19, by AJ Farmer. I hope you've all enjoyed the video, if you have please give us a like and if you don't subscribe yet then please do and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine. I've been Farm Sim Snowy, I'm just off to find Bigfoot, stay frosty.